no one's hitting me with the ukulele today. Get over it. I mean, that messed me up. I mean, I got a lump on my forehead, got a headache, and the brain damage. And the brain damage. And the brain damage. Hey, Noah, do you prefer Doctor Who or Sherlock? Well, this is a very interesting question, and my answer is simple. Doctor Who, hands down. I love Sherlock, it's a great show, but never has Sherlock made me just absolutely sob from pure overload of feels. That's happened three times with Doctor Who. Alright, today's video topic was requested by Libby Pritchett. And this is my top five favorite movies. With the last video, the one about my top five favorite books, I didn't rank them exactly like five, four, three, two, one. I can count. Yes. But with this one, I actually do have them ranked because, yeah. Number five, Meet the Robinsons. Now, I know this is, like, Nathan's all-time favorite movie, and I respect that, but for me, there are four movies that I can rank higher than that. Irregardless, it's still a great movie that I loved when it first came out, and I continue to cry like a baby when I watch it now. Number four. How to Train Your Dragon 2. First How to Train Your Dragon movie. Adorable little family movie. Fun for everyone. Sequel to this, oh, to the How to Train Your Dragon movie. So many feels. Number three, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh my gosh, this movie. It's kind of old, I mean, 80s, somewhere around there. But still, it's amazing. And my dog is barking. It shows everything that a kid in high school wants to do, but never actually has the guts to do. I mean, at least I didn't. Heck, there were a couple years where I didn't even know Nathan. Who knows what kind of crazy crap he did. And come on, that car. Number two, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This movie is on, is this high on this list for a very specific reason. When I was a kid and my parents actually broke down and rented this movie, just to try it, I mean, they were all like, ew, no, witchcraft, <laughs> but they broke down and we got it, and we watched it, and we all loved it. We continued to can finish watching the movies, reading all the books. I read all of them, like, before 8th grade, and it was amazing. I started reading them in, like, 4th grade, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember stuff that far in the past. But if I hadn't, if we hadn't seen it then, and we hadn't been, like, Holy crap, this movie is amazing. We must watch the rest of the movies when they come out and read all of the books. If we hadn't done that, I would probably not be in, like, any fandoms now, like, at all. I would probably be just some boring person, like, even more boring than I already am. So that's kind of sad. And now, number one, The Princess Bride. If you could show me a movie that does something better than Andre, the, than making Andre the Giant, the ginormous behemoth of a professional wrestler that he was, look absolutely adorable in that movie, be my guest. Hello, lady! Adorable. And come on, it has some of the best lines in movie history. Some dude came up to me and was either like, Drop your sword, 
or Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. Did you kill my father? Prepare to die. I would probably crap my pants. Not lying at all. Completely serious. I would crap my pants. I mean, and remember Vizzini's monologue? The end of it? <laughs> Freaking comedy gold. Alright, so that is my list today. Those of you who wanted this, I hope you are satisfied. If any of you have an idea for another video that you want either Nathan or I to do, go ahead, feel free to comment. Uh, if you have any questions for Nathan or I, comment. If you actually love us, then feel free to show that love by either liking this video or subscribing. Yeah. I guess I'll see you guys, I will talk to you guys next Tuesday. Nathan, hopefully I'll see you on Saturday. And everybody, I love your faces.